Hey, what's up guys? It's Scaram here, and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty episode, but today I'm, I'm playing Black Ops 2 instead of Advanced Warfare, which is what I usually play. Um, so, I got a funny story for you. Um, turns out, uh, I've actually, I've, I've hated Black Ops 2 for, you know, almost as long as I've had it. Not as long as I've had it. Um, alright, so the story starts, I first got Black Ops 2 in February of 2014. And that was the very first Call of Duty I ever owned. So, um, very first Call of Duty I ever played was Black Ops. Not, no, first Call of Duty I ever played was Modern Warfare 2 at a, at a friend's house. But first one I ever owned was Black Ops 2. Um, got the game. Uh, was bad at the game, you know, because I was a Call of Duty noob. So I was bad at the game. Didn't really know anything about it. Went negative every single game. Um, and, you know, one of the days I was playing, this was like, you know, maybe the first week that I had it. I was looking through some of the settings, like this, through the uh, sensitivity settings and trying to get everything right. And just like looking through things. And I realized that um, there's a thing called target aim assist, and I and I was like, what is that? I had no idea what that was. Um, so, me being an absolute idiot, um, I guess not really much of an idiot, but more so of just you know a noob, you know Call of Duty noob, not really knowing these things. Uh, that was the first time I'd ever seen something like that. Um, not only was this my first um, Call of Duty, it was it was my my first you know multiplayer FPS that I had ever earned, uh, that I ever owned. I mean. Um, so I didn't know what auto is, auto aim assist was, so I turned it off, thinking that it was something that you weren't really supposed to use. Like, you know, like you were allowed to, like I mean, obviously you're allowed to use it because it's in the game. But I thought it was something that you know noobs used. That you know you were a better player if you didn't use this. Kind of like you know if you um if you have a scuff and you play claw, people that can play claw and do just as good as people that that use a scuff, I kind of consider them to be you know maybe a little bit better. Just because they they don't have to have equipment, they don't have, to have special special equipment in order to do well. They can just use what what they what they what the default settings are, what they what they you know start off with. So I mean I don't really know that's a great analogy, but you know I kind of thought that it was something like you know you could use it, but you're kind of looked at as a noob, as like as you know a not so good player who did use it. I had no idea if this was true or not. This was just what I was thinking at the time. So I turned it off, and um, turns out you actually need that uh, somewhat because without auto aim. It is dang near impossible to keep on your target. So if you guys have ever seen, I've posted maybe like three Black Ops 2 gameplays for this because I'm absolutely horrible at the game. Um, you've seen that my accuracy in this game was horrible. And it was because I had no auto aim and I was constantly going side to side. Well, you know, time goes on, I get more Call of Duties and every Call of Duty that I get after this, I use auto aim. I, ha I, never, cha I never take it off because I don't really realize, I never think about it. So I never took it off in any other Call of Duty, um, and you're supposed to keep it on anyways, and it's bad to take it off, I'm not supposed to take it off. Um, and I've done well, I've done decently well in every Call of Duty except for Black Ops 2. And for so long I've wondered what it was, and I always thought that it was just the sensitivity settings in this game were too weird. Like, if, you, if I went down one, it was too low, if I went up one, it was too high, and I couldn't keep on target. And so I was never, I always thought it was a sensitivity setting, but yesterday, um, or no, no, yeah, two days ago, uh, my friend Chris, uh, myself, and my friend Rob, we were all playing Advanced Warfare together, and we were in a game where we were coming up against these people that were using Mayhems and uh, Noob Tubes. And we were just getting so mad because nothing, we couldn't, there's just nothing but noob tubes and grenades and rockets. And no one was actually killing us in gunfights. They were killing us in like explosive fights. It was so dumb. And so Chris had the idea to go back on Black Ops 2. He said that he was like, I'm just done. I'm done with Advanced Warfare for a little while. I'm going to go back to Black Ops 2 right now because Black Ops 2 is his favorite game. And so I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll go with you. And we got Rob to come over to Black Ops 2 as well. This was his first time playing Black Ops 2. He's not, he's not in this video because he ended up was he was in the party, but he was playing Advanced Warfare. Um, he played a couple games of Black Ops 2. He's actually decent. He's actually good. He he's played like five games of Black Ops 2. His first time ever playing it, and he went uh, positive like every single game. So he's not bad at the game. Uh, so I'm gonna see if he, if he wants to play a little bit more. Uh, and I played one match, and I was just wondering. I was just like once again, I was just I was just wondering why I was so bad at this game. And then I remembered, so long ago, a year ago, I had taken off the auto-aim setting. So I went back into options, turned it on, and the very next game I got, I was like 25-2 and two in a TDM. And then this, and then the game after that was this game. And, and so it was just like, I, it was like, I just, I don't know, it was just so annoying. It's, I'm, like, I'm so happy that I'm finally good at this game, because I, I do enjoy Black Ops 2. 
I, I do enjoy the game. I, I, I always, you know, I guess I always enjoyed it. I just didn't like that I wasn't good at it. But I always enjoyed playing it, even though I was bad at it. Um, since this is my first Call of Duty I ever owned, it's, it's kind of nostalgic for me. Um, and finally, I can actually play it, and I can do well, and I can hold my own. I can, I can go, uh, like, you know, I can go, you know, consistently without going negative. And um, it's so nice. It's, it's oh so very nice. And um, this was my first game um, ever getting a VSAT. Um, and a Warhawk, anything higher than a VSAT. Um, I never even, I, I, I tried it. I never even, actually, I never even attempted to get a VSAT, um, before this because I knew I couldn't get it. I knew I was too bad to get it in this game. So, but once I realized that I, that, that it wasn't me, it was the auto aim that was, you know, screwing me up. It, it, um, I put it on and for first game that I had on, had it on with, I got it and I also got the Warhawk. Ended up getting it, um, like at the very end of the game, um, just kind of how it worked out. I've gotten it a couple times since then. I, it's it's awesome. It's definitely one of my favorite kill streaks. And I'm so glad because this this black Black Ops 2 has the best kill streaks out of any Call of Duty in my opinion. The kill streaks are just insane. They just go in. They kill everyone. They're so good. Um, although there are some bad things about it, like this right here, spawn swaps are just so annoying, especially on Nuketown. But any any map in this game, spawns are horrible. Spawns are so bad in this game. Probably the worst Call of Duty for spawns, possibly other than Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 might be worse than this. Um, but yeah, it's bad. So I'm I'm just I'm just happy that I can finally do well in this game, and um, I've got I've got plenty of videos from Black Ops 2 to share with you guys. Uh, hopefully you like Black Ops 2. I think most people do. Black Ops 2 seems to be one of like the most well received Call of Duties in recent uh, history. So um, hopefully you guys are totally cool with uh, seeing a bunch of Black Ops 2. I've also got Advanced Warfare videos, so you know I'll be I'll be alternating between the two. Um, I'm also really sorry about not posting in the past week. That's because I've just been swamped with work. I've had tests i've had projects i was sick for two days and so i missed a i missed two days of school came back to school uh, i had i had missed a test and i had to stay after school one day to to make up this test and um so i just i just um was i was uh just really kind of behind in some stuff and then i also had a project due in my computer class that i had to do along with a paper that i had to write for that same project so it was like I was like a presentation project and a paper project and the same thing. So I had a lot of stuff to do for this um, for this week, and so I just wasn't able to get around to the time of posting. I was able to play some Call of Duty, obviously. I uh, always got to make time for that. Um, so I mean, like I said, I'm just I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I'm finally good at this game. It's just so nice, and uh, now I'm actually I'm I'm actually like one of the best things about about realizing that I can play this game is that it puts me a little bit at ease for Black Ops 3. I, one of the things I was worried about was that Black Ops 3 was going to be like Black Ops 2 and I was going to suck. And that's what I was worried about. Now, if Black Ops 3 is like Black Ops 2, I, I mean, I'm not going to be too happy, but I'm also not going to be too disappointed because I will actually be able to get you guys gameplays and do well. Um, I didn't want to play Advanced Warfare for two years. Oh, oh, no, my goodness, no, 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 please no. I'm so happy that Advanced Warfare is leaving. I, um, as much as I've enjoyed, as, as many times as I, as many fun times as I have had on Advanced Warfare, it's getting old. I, there's, it, this game has been out for so, Advanced Warfare has been out for so long, and it's still got so much crap in it that hasn't been fixed. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just wondering why Sledgehammer isn't fixing these things. That these, these blatant issues with the games that haven't been fixed yet and that's one of the things that Treyarch I think is good with Treyarch um, has guys had a has had a history of pleasing their fans and just doing what the fans want so I'm I'm hopeful that that Black Ops 3 will not make the same mistakes that Advanced Warfare or Sledgehammer has made and the fact that they uh, don't patch things they don't they don't patch they don't nerf they don't buff they don't do anything like that um, until you know uh, until you know months and months and months and months after it's necessary um, so I'm just I'm so I'm so ready for Black Ops 3 to come out. I don't even know if it's gonna be good. I'm after hearing some of the things about like the specialist packages or whatever it's called, the specialist characters. I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't like the whole Destiny like supercharge kind of thing. If you ever played Destiny, there are supercharges where you get like a certain item for each character, and that's how it kind of is in Black Ops 3. Not too excited about that. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, it might be it might be okay. It might work out. I mean, obviously there's a chance that it'll work out, but I don't think it will. I don't think that that's a good idea. I think that that um, as much as people complain about Call of Duty being stagnant, I mean, I'm not too I'm not too you know worried about that. I'm not too worried about the whole stagnancy of Call of Duty. I think that Call of Duty does does what it does, and I think it does it well. And I don't think that they need to, they need to mess with it too much. I mean, obviously you need to change some stuff around, give some fresh things, but I don't think you need to change it too much because or else it'll just lose its uh, its feeling of Call of Duty. Um, so anyways, guys, this game is already almost over. 
I've been rambling on for a long time now. I've got plenty of videos for Black Ops 2 to show you. I might post another one today. I just did a live commentary about 30 minutes ago with the uh, Sniper Rifle DSR, and I had a good game. So I might just go ahead and post that. Um, shout out to Chris for getting me back on this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Scarum, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.